All right, so if you're familiar with this channel, it's all about living in the Philadelphia area. Today, we're gonna to talk all about living in Villanova 2021. everybody, welcome back. It's Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert here and your local information expert. Today we're talking about living in Villanova. So it's just outside of Philadelphia area on the main line. Check out our Villanova channel. Or I should say, check out our main line channel. Check out um, our whole playlist here on the, the main line. We've got a, a bunch of videos on Villanova, but uh, so let's get right to it. All right, so let's start out with some pros and cons. So one of the, the biggest draws, uh, one of the best things about living in Villanova is the, the, the school system. It's certainly the, one of the best in the country, one of the best in the area. It's also a lot of fun things to do in the Villanova area. You're really close in proximity to King of Prussia. You're close to getting to Center City. Uh, it's super walkable, it's super fun. Now it is a college town. Of course, it's really well known for Villanova University, but it really isn't a college town per se, civilians and the college students really get along. So it's a nice blend, it's a fun place to be. Uh, now on the other end of that, it is pretty expensive. The cost of living to, to live in Villanova is one of the highest uh, in the area, in the country really. Uh, cost of living is, is on that high side. Check out our cost of living videos. We'll put some links below. And while you're below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. Clicking bells, click away. But if you have some other fun or pros or cons, about Villanova, we'll be happy to report them to you. So it's really got a nice blend of city kind of living, walkable, fun, suburban, but also city. Um, but it's really got this great, beautiful views and, and, and a really um, country feeling to it. So you're, you've got the best of both worlds as far as that goes, which is a big pro, or is that a con? Look, it depends on how you feel. I just report it to you, you make up your own mind. If you want my opinion, shoot me a text, I'll be glad to give it to you. So talking about some fun things to do, uh, Villanova's got some excellent places to eat. We're talking about having some fun, there's that the Campus Corner Cafe right on the campus. I wonder how they named it that. Uh, delicious, it's a quick bite, but it's also a fun place to stop. Uh, we also got Azzy on Main. Now that's a Japanese fusion type restaurant. Got some Kobe, Kobe beef steak, got some delicious drinks there. So it's got a little bit of everything for everybody. Uh, but those are just kind of two extremes, but uh, Villanova's got everything uh, from, from those two I mentioned and everything in between. So what are the best things to do in living in Villanova? <laughs> Well, certainly got the university there. They got a really cool campus bookstore. You got a bookshop there and you can get some, some great gear. But if you wanted to, like I had mentioned before, if you wanted to take in the, the beauty or take in the, um, the nature, they've got uh, the, an arboretum not nearby. They've also got some parks, really neat historical type outdoorsy <laughs> type places to visit. Passing through Villanova is also Radnor Trail. Now Radnor Trail runs pretty far. You can do cycling there, biking there. You can bring your dog, you can bring your kids, you can bring yourself. Uh, you don't have to do biking there either. You can kind of just kind of mosey along or walk along or jogging, or there's some nice benches there <laughs> if you wanted to have a seat along the trail, but it is beautiful. Um, it, it does, again, bring, brings you to that, to the nature aspect of the main line in the Villanova area. Check out Radnor Trail for, for, for sure. It's also for free, so it's pretty inexpensive for those of you that like uh, to be a little bit cheap, or, or like me, I call it frugal. Hey, be smart about your money, especially with the cost of living in Villanova. Now, it really isn't that high, but it is on the higher end. Uh, check out our cost of living series. So also in Villanova is the Stone Lee Garden. It's just this, this massive place with all the native plants in the area. Really cool place to check out. Really fun to do. Great spot to visit on a beautiful day or even kind of not, not so beautiful day. Uh, there is a lot to see outdoors. So if it is rainy, you might not want to hit it up, but it's a great spot to go, even if it's not uh, uh, too terribly warm out. You uh, grab your coat as you're leading into fall. It, it, uh, the foliage there is, is uh, stunning for sure. So Villanova to get into Center City, um, as far as cost-wise, I mean, you could just jump on our uh, SEPTA, the main line, and hop into the city and probably be into Center City in about 20 minutes. Check out our SEPTA video as well. You could drive into the city. Um, I, I guess you're probably about uh, less than 20 miles from Center City. 
Uh, you're right outside of Valley Forge, so it is a convenient drive, but definitely don't go down Route 76, the Schuylkill, the Blue Route, 476, none of them. If you're looking for a fast, easy way to get into the city and out of the city, definitely give me a call or email me, uh, but I can certainly tell you which places to, uh, to certainly to avoid. So what are the top neighborhoods in Villanova? Now, Villanova's got various sections, and what's really nice, if you wanted to kind of have a country atmosphere, or you wanted to live in a residential neighborhood, or maybe you wanted to be in a townhouse, you wanted to be more in like a, a borough type, city type, type environment where it's super walkable, you've got all those to choose from. If you wanted a grand estate, you wanted to live in luxury, you wanted a condo, Villanova has it all. If you'd like a list or you want to check it out, check out our website. Uh, we can put a link below for that as well. Uh, but if you wanted us to send you a list, um, definitely you could do that too. We, we did tour some houses, which is on our channel as well. So what's nice about Villanova, again, if you wanted that city feel, they got it. Or if you wanted that country type feel, they got it. And they've got things on all different price points. Uh, certainly Villanova has some of the higher price points in the area uh, with an average price point right around that $600,000 mark. Uh, but there are some great spots in, in the three and four hundred thousand dollar range and if you wanted some beautiful mansions or some beautiful lo luxury living in the one two and three million dollar ranges it absolutely goes up from there as well too so i was touching a little bit on the cost of living in villanova and the average income in villanova proper 19085 is the zip code uh, is about two hundred and twenty thousand dollars now, if you honed really close to the university and really close to the, the busier areas, let's say, the price points probably average out right in that $1.2 million range. But like I just mentioned, average in the general area there, 19085 is about 600,000. So don't be thrown off if you're thinking, oh, I need to have a million and a half dollars to come in. Although if you have it, well, I'll be happy to help you spend it. I'm really good at spending your money. Uh, but no, you can really get a nice value, even in that one and $2 million range. Cost of living is, is just uh, just above average, so across the United States. Uh, we do go really in depth in that in a, in a video. Um, but you're, you're just a little bit above the average in the United States as far as living in Villanova. So that delicious lunch might cost you around $20, $25, where you can go elsewhere and maybe get it for $18. But it's really not crazy different, uh, but it is a little higher. But hey, it's worth it. All right, so jobs. Let's talk jobs. There's a lot of opportunity in Villanova. Now, Radnor, which isn't far, is a whole financial center, and you're really close to Philadelphia. You're also close to leaving the area around the King of Prussia area, so there's a lot of opportunity depending on what level you're looking at, what kind of job you're looking for, if you're looking for a new career. There's a ton of industry, and a, a, um, there's really a, a lot of choices and, and a lot of opportunity in the general area, and, uh, you know, paid professions. All right, so schools. I talked about that in the beginning, and that is one of the biggest attractions. Uh, now they've got, um, um, besides obviously Villanova University, they've got some other higher education choices. You've got some of the best elementary schools, some of the best middle schools and high schools, postgraduate schools in the area, in the country, I mean literally in the world, Villanova. Now we talked about on another video some of the private schools too, which we can't deny, which are very affordable and excellent reputations. Check out our videos. If there was a certain school you wanted to talk, you wanted us to talk more about in depth, be glad to do it. Um, here I just kind of wanted to touch on the finer points or more of a, a of an aerial view of the area, but the school system in Villanova is is literally second to none. All right, so the weather here uh, can get kind of, uh, be kind of a pain. Dead of summer, it's really, really hot, and it can be very humid as well. Uh, we just had a major storm in this area, which we really hadn't had in a while. We do get a lot of storms, but we had a really bad storm, I mean, damaging. Uh, some neighborhoods around Villanova were, were, were really hurt hard. We, we tend not to have major, major damaging storms a lot because we're so far off the coast, uh, but it does happen. Uh, super hot in the summer, like I said, I mean, average 90 to 100 degrees, and the humidity makes it even worse. Uh, in the dead of winter, uh, it certainly can get cold. I mean, it can feel very cold, and it does snow, and it snows a lot. Now, the last few years, it snowed a lot more than it has, 
uh, but it could snow for days on end and, and we, we do get some kind of ugly wintry mixes here. So just be ready for that. But we're prepared and we can take good care of it. And if you wanted some hints on how to shovel about bending at the knees or if you're looking for some really great vendors that you want to call to have them maybe come and help you out, I can turn you on to those as well. Uh, we do have four seasons here. The fall is absolutely beautiful and so is the spring. We do get a lot of pollen here so it does kind of get annoying and uh, sneezy and your eyes might water so it does kind of bother you a little bit but we do get four great seasons so we do get to experience it all here as far as the weather goes all right so let's talk about the people what kind of people live in villanova so villanova has majority of of working class homeowners okay <laughs> Not to say there aren't a lot of rentals because you have a, a, another large portion of the area of the people that live in Villanova are college students, but also college professionals. They work with the school, work for the school, or teach at the school. They do have a nice blend there. Uh, it's really diverse in ethnic backgrounds all over the all over this community and all over that general area. So all in all, Villanova is a little bit pricey on the houses. A little bit heavy on the cost of living, but it's well worth it. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. You get a lot of value for what you're purchasing. You're getting some great school districts. You're getting a great location. You're getting a great area. The taxes in Villanova are, are decent considering what you're getting. Uh, so all in all, it's, a, it's an excellent place to live. If you're, you know, if you're looking to come to move to the area, be happy to show you around. Or if you wanted us to take our camera and show you some spots, uh, let us know, hit us up. I'd appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. But either way, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the videos. If you do hit that subscribe button, you want to want to hit like, that'd be good too. But hit that bell notification so you can be alerted to all the great videos that we're putting out. Gregory Martyr, local Villanova, local Mainline, local Philadelphia, local, local expert. Can I say local? Say local five times fast. But I'm here to help. I'm glad to do it. Call us anytime. We work nights and weekends. Appreciate you stopping out. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.